We haven't seen the last of this. <laughs> Umpire Clifton throws the ball in the air. Harrison Reuter. Reuter gets it down. Intervon can't take it. Reuter does his own ruck wo uh, roving work. Gets it at Barnett. Ingleson, who runs on with a football. <laughs> Uh, and he's got a free kick. Is that it? <laughs> uh, I'm not going to say anything when he got the when he makes a decision. I'm just going to wait for him to actually tell me what it is. So he wants him to come back. He's got to come back to centre wing. Ingleson was on half forward, but he comes back now. He will take the free kick. Umpire Stokes is in control. Lynch stands the mark. He switches play, and it's okay. He finds his uh, teammate who uh, took on another, and that was uh, Glenn Cross. He runs through the middle. Gets a left foot kick towards centre half forward. Oh, no mark taken. Probably should have been from the West Cricket's... Uh, Forward line there. Goes up. Lehman from behind. Rathji with a right foot. Kick partly smothered. Goes up. Is that a mark? Yes. No. no. Play on. I thought it was uh, touched off the boot. Goes in towards the uh, back in the forward pocket. And it's off hands. Manning can't take it any closer to goal. It is out of bounds in the left forward pocket for the uh, Cheaters at the eastern end of the ground. They're three goals. Straight 18. They trail East Geelong 8-4-52. And uh, we will have a boundary throw in the left forward pocket for the Cheaters. So it's going to be a fairly long quarter, 22 and a half minutes. We've had a stretcher, Bryce Vincent it is, who's off the ground. We'll check on him at half time. Off hands now, running through. That was, uh, looked like it might have been Gibson, tried to get it towards Hill. He's surrounded by Cheaters. One of them, Shane Manning, kick, good kick too. Kicks it back inboard, looking for Lehman and finds him. Lehman's got it. Lead on by Cam Pigley, goes in that direction, can't take the mark. Needs a rover, didn't have one, tried to do it himself, tried to get it away, can't do so. Pack develops. Frank Anelli straight through the middle. Does well. Spins away. Gets his uh, kick over his shoulder. Back towards the half forward flank. Can't take the mark. Wilkie. Murray's back there as well. Needs to get a handball away. Tried to. Steel comes through. He's wrapped up. Took them on. Umpire said play on the call. Williams is there. Handball. Back to Cam Pigley. Over the top towards Lehman. Running through. Great play. Should finish it off and does. Good play by West. And Vinny Lehman has kicked his first goal. And the fourth for... Geelong West, they four straight goals, 24 now. They trail East Geelong, who are 8 4 52. That's on the Raiders Bingo second quarter scoreboard, 23 and a half minutes gone. Very good build up there, wasn't it, for that goal? They worked very, very hard for it, but uh, there was some good uh, skills there with uh, finding the targets with handballs, and he was able to run, use his pace to run through the pack, which was nice to see and kick a nice goal. Yeah, well, East Geelong trying to block it up in, in the pocket, but uh, Lehman weaved his way through, as you said, and uh, kicked a fine goal on, on the left foot, I think a natural right yep. footer. So, uh, a good goal from him. And a very handy one too, Eric, at this point of time. It might just settle things down a little bit. Yes, well, uh, certainly, uh, as you mentioned before, we're here to play footy, and uh, that's really what should be happening. And uh, the ball's now being returned. So, uh, well, what, what the West need to do, Laurie? Need to get a couple in the next... Uh, couple three or four minutes to, well, to steady yeah. the ship a bit and and i think eric you you s s touch on levy for i don't believe they're kicking the ball long enough with the breeze they're still short passing too much i mean it's all right uh, to in, in certain areas to use your handball short but i think when you've got the this breeze big boot down the forward line from the throw up in the center of the ground it comes to grand reuter well tackled a bit high but play on to the umpire and uh, he'll come in and uh, we'll have a secondary throw up still in the center circle a lot of players now around the ball because they can come into the square, of course. Reuter, great tap down to Intervong. Intervong towards half forward. Hyatt can't take the mark following up, so Connor, great pick up. Uh, chips the ball out off the ground, but it's only as far as uh, Manning of West. And Shane Manning takes the mark at centre half back. Now goes well. It's gone pretty short again. The lead's coming forward there, and uh, it's a good mark there by... Jerry Manning, and on the left foot, he goes oh. across ground. So it's Manning to Manning to Manning, and Shane has the ball now in the centre circle. Now, uh, where's he going to go? That's better, a long driving kick over uh, half forward. Well, the only player to, to even look like wanting the ball was Chris Wilkie. He goes right across the ground now, high in the air, and uh, no mark taken. Comes to ground, off the ground, Stefanovski as far as Intervong. Intervong, well, the handball was a bit hot for Murray then, couldn't handle it, but he follows it up, picks it up, and now stand and deliver a long kick to half forward for the East Geelong side. Good tap away there by West Cricket, but uh, great roving by Senjov. Goes to the full forward position. Oh, Sean O'Leary, well, probably had more time than he realised he had then because he uh, took him on off one step, tried to hook it over his shoulder, but uh, he's offline by about 15 metres and it's out of bounds not far from the behind post, so probably could have eluded uh, yep. Lucino on that Well, occasion. he probably could have used a little bit of a finesse here and gone back on the left side and uh, it was going to be always pretty difficult over the shoulder to get that distance. 
Ball out of bounds, five metres from the behind post. Deep in the forward area for East Geelong. Up high, the tap comes down for West Cricket. Only as far as O'Connor. Gee, he does well getting at the ball. Little handball across to Miles. Miles to the full forward position. And off hands, it's a, a rush behind for East Geelong. So on the Raiders bingo scoreboard now, 26 and a half minutes, second quarter, 8-5-53 East Geelong. Lead West Cricket and the Footy Club four goals straight. Doyle goes in short, finds Leonard. He kicks over the top. Sam Lacino takes the mark in front of Barnett. <clears throat> Still at half back, short little kick to Lehman. It's all right. They've got it to half back proper. He plays on now, kicks long towards centre wing. Big pack, Reuter from behind. Big thump away, needs a rover at the front. Marcus was there. Melville did well, got a good shepherd from Rafji. Set him up, goes to Ian Alley's in the clear, takes the mark and plays on, kicks it back towards. Uh, Cam Pigley, go oh, good, good mark. Play. Darren Cam Pigley takes a good grab, 40 metres out directly in front. We'll have a shot for goal for uh, his second. Yeah, that was a great build up, Eric. There's a was. couple of little kicks across the defensive area to, to, to set the play up, and then a long kick into the forward line. Exactly what you want to do. Yeah, certainly on a day like today and, and on a ground like this, that was uh, very well executed. So, Darren Cam Pigley's got it directly in front, 40 metres out. Stefanovski stands. On the mark as he goes in. Ooh. He's hooked it. Has it come back far enough? Well, oh, it's pretty close. I think it has. The goal umpire goes back into the middle of the goals and says, yes, it's a goal. Darren Cam Pigley's second. And the fifth for Geelong West. Pretty good kicking. Five straight goals, 30. They trail East Geelong 8-5, 53. That is on the Raiders bingo. Second quarter scoreboard, 28 minutes gone. Gee, the wind brought that back a long way, Laurie, didn't it? Yes, it did. Uh, right. Oh, the only indication I got, there was a guy there uh, applauding, and I thought, well, it's going to be pretty right. And, uh, <laughs> but sometimes they yeah, can fool you with that, of course. Jeez, uh, O'Connor looks all right in the middle, doesn't he? Yeah, Laurie? He player. looks a good player. I was about to say that to Eric up here before. He, he looks like a yeah. pretty cool sort of a customer. He picks it, gets over the footy and uh, works it. Back in the middle now. Umpire Stokes throws the ball up. Harris and Reuter. Reuter goes up early, gets it down. Roved Ian Alley got a trip. No free kicks of the umpire. Well, it wasn't really a trip. It was a leg, probably. But uh, it'll be a secondary bounce. And uh, umpire Stokes will throw the ball up. Harris, Reuter, big pack around it. Reuter gets it from behind to Williams. Good play. Turns around, goes on the left. Goes with a wobbly punt towards half forward. Doyle and Hyatt goes in there. Miles as well, rides at tackle. Oh, handball. Look for Intervong. Found him in the end. He goes with a little right foot kick towards Hyatt. Needs somebody running past. It was Intervong. Oh, got met by Melville. And he picked the ball up. Goes to Burton. Can go over the top towards Harris. It's all right. And he goes now. Harris has got it on centre wing. He goes towards centre half forward. Wilkie takes a good mark too. Whoop. Got Melville running past. He lets that go with a kick and it's out wide. Must have heard a call. It was uh, Manning and Lakino. Lakino called Manning out and he took the mark at half forward. Nick Lakino now. Ratchie gives him a lead. He lets that go further afield. Towards Wilkie. Oh, off hands. Goes through Cam Pigley. Needs somebody behind. It's Frank Ernelli running at half forward. Runs it through a couple. Handball to Cam Pigley. Or sets Burton up. He's going to be surrounded, but he gets away. Gets a kick away towards Lacuno again. Running through Marcus. Had it. Lost it. Had it again. Now he's got it. Got Reuter. He elects to go further afield, though. He had three eagles and the boundary line. And he elected uh, in the end with the kick to go towards the boundary line. It is out of bounds for a boundary throwing at half forward. Over the use of footy again there by West. They'll, they'll run a bit of pressure there, though, and... Uh you tend to do that, I guess, when you're under pressure all the time. But I'm just a uh, bit concerned about the East movement there. I mean, I think they could have run that ball out of the back line then rather than just kick it out. Got half-time AFL, Hawthorne 7-4, Richmond 6-4, and uh, just waiting if Ian would repeat the uh, the other game. So it's going to be a boundary throw-in at centre wing. Well, in between wing and half forward, it is really for the Cheaters. We've been playing just over 30 minutes in this second term. Free kick found over the shoulder and it's going to come from Manning towows Frank Ernelli advantage paid so ernelli has got it at half forward goes towards uh, the lead of Cam Pigley over the shoulder said the umpire <laughs> Stefanowski turns around and can't believe it but it is and it's going to be a free kick to Darren Cam Pigley it's going to be a tough kick from there though he's a left footer he's on the boundary line on the uh, left half forward flank Carlton 9-7 Kangaroos 8-6 so uh, Kangaroos have come back Cam Pigley has kicked a goal that is a fantastic kick from the boundary if that is a goal and it is through for one behind so uh, Darren Cam Pickley two goals one the first blemish for the Cheaters and uh, they go to 5-1-31 and the Eagles 8-5-53 that is on the Raiders bingo second quarter scoreboard 
Dale Purcell to do the kicking in for the Eagles. He elects to go towards the halfback flank looking for Hill and Stefanoski. Burton goes up, can't take the mark off hands. Hill and Williams. Williams is there. The two number twos, Hill kicks off the ground and out of bounds on the full. So it will be a penalty free kick to the Cheaters. It's going to go to Andrew Williams. He goes to the left boot towards half forward. Manning goes up. Oh, Great well, mark. lacks of fortune because brother Jerry's there. I think it's his brother anyway. Well, they're Manning's. Jerry's taken at number four. He's got it at half forward. Spore stands the mark. Late goal here for the Cheaters would be good just before half time. He comes in now on half forward. Another left footer. He runs in pretty close to the man on the mark. Has he got the distance? It's going to land in the square. It's off hands and through for a rush behind to the Cheaters. So it's five goals, 2.32 Geelong West, East Geelong 8.5.53. And that is on the Raiders' bingo second quarter scoreboard. And we've been playing 32 minutes in this second term. Laurie, you could almost say they're staying in touch, but that's about all. Yeah, well, they are on the scoreboard, Eric. And uh, look, they're, they're trying very, very hard out there. And, uh, you know, I think they've, they're forcing the East Geelong side into a few errors. I think uh, their game's just dropped off a little bit at the moment. At, at the start of the game, they were prepared to be positive and run it forward. All of a sudden, they're just prepared to do the net defensive things and stay down there. Marcus has got it from the uh, kick in. Took the mark over to Intervong. He's handballed to Williams, so he didn't even know it was coming. It's been ripped off by Lehman. Kick back towards full forward, getting across Gibson been one of their best this year, Scotty Gibson. He's been pretty good in the back pocket. And he goes to the right boot wide towards Hill and Rathji. Both can't take the mark. It's off hands. Goes back towards Glenn Cross. Handball back to Rathji. Did well under pressure. Got it to Jason Rathji. Goes long towards uh, the forward pocket. I'll rove by Manning. He better kick the goal because he had Frank Ernelli running past. But he has. He has kicked the goal, Jerry Manning. His first... And the sixth for Geelong West. They go to 6 2 38. And they trail East Geelong 8 5 53 by 15 points on the Raiders Bingo second quarter scoreboard. And that is at the 33 and a half minute mark of the uh, second term. So as we thought, it was going to go a long time, and it certainly has. Well, I'm not sure how much time's to go, Jason, but uh, if they could snare another one here, Eric, uh, they'd go in with a bit of a sniff at half time, I'd oh, imagine. So, <laughs> yes, so, uh, and as Jason said it's in the first quarter, this is a ground where you can kick three or four goals in three or four minutes, and uh, another one there would be uh, very interesting to half time. Umpire with the ball in the centre. Reuter and uh, Harris getting ready once again. Up it goes. Oh, Reuter, clear tap down on that occasion, but Harris uh, did the roving when it hit the ground. But it's uh, good work there by Glenn Cross. And uh, unfortunately, oh. yeah, why? The he won't pay advantage, will he? Umpire Clifton will not pay the advantage <laughs> rule whatsoever. I don't know whether it's uh, not in his rule book, but uh, the free kick has gone to uh, East Geelong. They come back. Harris gets a handball to uh, toward the fence, but it's over the boundary line in front of the scoreboard. So uh, it's interesting. <laughs> well, there is the siren. We've gone 34 and a half minutes in the second quarter. It is half time, and uh, Raiders Bingo Centre scoreboard East Geelong 8 5 53. They lead West Cricket and Football Club 6 2 38. The goal kick is to half time for East, Geelong, for East Geelong. Three to Sean O'Leary, two each to Mark Sanjob and Sean Flanagan, and a single goal to Eugene Marcus. While for Geelong West, two to Darren Cam Pigley in singles to Jerry Manning, Vinny Lehman. Troy Melville and to Jason Rathji. So it's uh, 15 points of difference at half time. We'll take a break and we'll have our where are they now?